Hello everyone, welcome to Power Secretary PCT. Today I will introduce briefly about our electrical power distribution system with three phase and single phase constructions. Then I will explain the cost outlines, what you will be able to achieve from PCT. We are using electricity every day and most of the load are single phase with two terminals. See here. The third one is earth connection for safety purpose. The usable voltage here is well known, 230 volt or 200 volt. When it comes to high power loads such as motor, we use three phase electricity, which consists of three hot wires and a neutral wire. On the left hand side, we can see the voltage waveforms of the two systems. For single phase, the voltage of L2 to neutral is shown here as the yellow line. Uh, it is a 50 Hz sinusoidal waveform. For three phase system, we have two more voltages, L1 and L3, which are in red and blue leading and lagging L2 voltage an angle of 120 degrees. The line to line voltage here is the distance between every two lines and therefore the voltage of the three phase system becomes 400 volt line to line. The neutral line N here is a very special one because it normally carries very small current and thus it has very low loss. For the single phase load, on the other hand, the neutral line needs to carry the same current as the hot line. Therefore, the neutral line here explains the benefit of the three phase system over the single phase one. This figure illustrates a popular power system. The electric power is generated from a coal power plant at 30 kV and then uh, it is converted to 500 kV and transferred to long distance. Because of the high voltage, the required current is less and thus the loss during transmission is much lower. The voltage is then lower to 60 kV and then 70 kV to enter industrial and commercial area. For residential use, the voltage is further lower to 100 uh, to 200 volt for safety reason. We can see some real images about the high power, high voltage transmission line here. Here is a high voltage transformer. And finally here you can see a low voltage transformer used for residential area. First, we learn how to model the power components such as uh, resistive load, inductive load, capacitive load, and transformers. Then we will model the power flow based on the per unit system, which is very useful to analyze power transmission system with many transformers included. After that, we will learn about transmission line model and its parameters, how to calculate them. So after uh, covering all the bases, we learn how to do fault analysis and study transients and stability of the system. These two are very advanced. This is a very hard subject, so you should prepare well for it. Please read the review materials online and study in advance before coming to class. For class activities, you should read from the textbook and also the lecture notes available on Dress Online. Also, I strongly recommend practicing all the problems in the tutorial sheets, which are also available on Dress Online. For last sessions, you should read 
and prepare according to the lab notes on UDS Online. All students are encouraged to study in group because it will help you understand the subject better. Here's so what you can expect for class activities. A lecture will start with a 20 minute open book quiz, so do not come late. Then um, I will give feedback accordingly and students will do cross marking. This will help students understand the marking criteria and prepare better for the final exam. After that, I will discuss the contents of the week sessions. Students are welcome to make any questions and create an interactive study environment. A tutorial also starts with a 20 minute closed book quiz. Students will also do cross marking here. A normal tutorial will follow after but also open for question and discussion. Please note that the quiz result will be recorded for 20% of the final result. All the quizzes are taken from the tutorial sheets only, so you should prepare and practice in advance to do well. The lab will be accounted for 15%, another 50% will be from assignment. And the final exam will be accounted for 50% of the final results. So this is the end of the introduction of PCT. I see you in class.